on reading Milan Kundera's The Unbearable Lightness of Being. Everything is probabilistic. Despite our best efforts, the outcomes remain uncertain. So if you have an asmuzain, a fundamental purpose or drive, your aim should be to ensure none of the possible outcomes lead to game over. For example, if your passion is playing cricket, you must take care to never sustain an injury that could end your career. If your Esmuzain is love, do not conflate it with specific individuals. Love begins with an entry in your poetic memory, a repository distinct from your regular memory. Poetic memory records only the lover, not individuals. Because when the entry was made, lover referred to someone specific. It uses a shortcut by recording it as lover. You must be able to recollect things stored in poetic memory at top speed. So you do not want too many lookups slowing it down. Therefore, no individual data is stored there. Individual data is too complex. When recalling your loves, you may not know who is who. You have a spectrum of events colored by your various lovers. And you can only guess the dominant hue to infer who may have been involved. You could also use the times associated with these memories to infer who was involved. But that is not very reliable either. The times are recorded based on concurrent events, not based on a calendar or a clock. Those concurrent events are as unreliable as the rest anyway. So all your loves get blurred into a spectrum of great love. Injuries are not the only threat to one's Esmuzain. An Oedipus guilt can be equally devastating. The solution is to simply turn a blind eye. Convincing yourself you never wanted those shameful outcomes. Remember, the probability of that outcome was beyond your control. So you bear no responsibility. If the urge to confess your Oedipus guilt arises, resist it. Instead, use your dreams as a conduit. There you can talk as much as you want. Your dreams will speak to the world in a language that they do not understand. And even if they understand, they will act as if you never confessed your guilt. In the end, the unbearable lightness of being remains a great read like share high five subscribe let our channel thrive